Fire was supposed to be there, but okay. It rocked that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so much smoke. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So what's different about this rocket engine is, well, the whole rocket engine. Um, so I launched a very similar sized rocket engine on a rocket called ET-9, but uh, that engine, well, uh, yeah, it, it didn't come back. So I decided to make it again, but redesign it a little bit. Last time I had little screws hold it in the graphite nozzle, and um, it worked pretty well except that the nozzle would push out a little bit and create spaces in between the fuel grains and it would disrupt the flow and yada yada blah blah. So, I have different design. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little uh, paper tube fit into the inside there, center it up and then just pour in the fuel, making no fuel grains, and then using this little drill bit to flatten out the top, and it'll make it real nice and flat. And then with this nozzle, I'll mold a little bit of fuel and flatten it out here. And then, with this threaded cap, I'll put an o-ring there, set this nozzle in place, and then screw this to where the two halves of the fuel are squished against each other, and uh, probably put some RTV silicon in there, make it real nice and sealed, and then it will press against the O-ring as I tighten it, making it even more sealed, and everything will stay in place, as this is a lot more secure than just four small screws. So yep, yeah. there's the new design and all that. <laughs> 